Angular versus React and the myths about Angular. Let's address Angular versus React first. Angular is a framework. And when we talk about a framework, a framework is a set of practices and rules that a person has to follow while working on something, which means that it is composed of structures, opinions, and a lot of other things. Angular also has a built-in CLI, as I mentioned. So you use the Angular CLI to generate code, to build it, to serve the Angular application and whatnot. Angular also has a lot of tools and packages installed when you create a new Angular application, which is suitable for both small and medium scale application. For example, if you need to make HTTP calls from an Angular application, you don't need to install additional packages. If you want to use unit tests in your application, you don't need to install additional packages. And if you want to have something with forms, you don't need additional packages. So all of that is included when you create a new Angular application. And as I mentioned before, it is opinionated since it's a framework, you have better code style and consistency that can scale beyond teams and even companies sometimes. Now let's talk about React on the other side. And I'm not really bashing React here. It's a really good library to work with. I have been using React for about six years, but comparing with Angular, React is a tiny library. And yes, it is a tiny library. You just start with React and you can start building components. But as soon as you want a real app that does something is usable for the users, you need more packages. 